Water Storage Tank a pressurized water storage tank on a standard reverse osmosis system is used to store processed RO water. The reverse osmosis process is slower, so a pressurized storage tank is typically required to supply water from the system on demand. Pressurizing the water storage tank is an important part of maintaining the reverse osmosis system. It can improve your water flow and performance of your drinking water system. This video will show you how to pressurize an RO water storage tank. RO tanks are usually made of metal. Tanks are enclosed with polypropylene and butyl reservoirs to ensure that drinking water does not contact the tank body. The biggest misunderstanding about RO tanks is that they hold the amount of water that the tank manufacturer says. They hold much less. That is because some of the inner space inside the tank is occupied by air and a bladder. Before pumping air into the tank, please empty the tank to get an accurate tank pressure reading. To empty the tank, shut off the feed water valve to the system and turn on the drinking faucet to drain water in the tank. To check the tank's pressure, unscrew the air valve cover on the tank body. Use a low pressure gauge and press it down to the valve for a reading. We recommend 7 PSI to 10 PSI for common use on standard 3 to 5 gallon RO tanks. If the pressure reading is below 7 PSI, use a hand pump, electrical pump, or compressor to add air. Any water remaining in the storage tank will flow out from the drinking faucet. Once the recommended pressure is reached, reinstall the valve cover, shut off the drinking faucet, and turn on the feed water valve. Your reverse osmosis water storage tank is now pressurized. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.